Guys, in this video, we'll learn to write JSON path expression for accessing nodes of JSON array, which is also called as JSON list. Now, a JSON array contains zero, one or more ordered items separated by a comma. It is surrounded by square brackets and is zero terminated, meaning the first index of the array is zero. In JSON array, values must be of type string, number, object, array, boolean or null. So the agenda of this video is onto your screen. We would see how to access JSON array nodes via number one index, number two union and slice expressions. Now index approach works really well with primitive types like string, number, boolean and null. However, it is not advised to use index when array items are of type object and array. And in such cases, we filter JSON data set using filter criteria. I'll cover this topic in a separate video to keep this video short. Let's access the JSON array items using index. And to start with, we'll work on this very simple array of numbers. As we know, index start with zero and the root element is denoted by dot. So we write dot followed by opening and closing square brackets. And within these square brackets, we mention the index of the item we would like to access. So for first item, we say zero. For second item, we say one and so on. Let's see that practically now. So guys, here's our array. First mention dollar. This is going to return us everything. All right. And here's the response. Now, since this is an array, we are going to use the square bracket notation. All right. And inside that you have to provide in the index. So you say zero, you get the first item back for one, you get 20. For two, you get 30 and so on. All right, it's that simple. Now, let's replace these numbers with object to start making things more realistic. This array seems like a collection of person objects when each person object has got three properties, ID, name and age. Please also note JSON path expression is case sensitive, which means that name in lowercase is different from name in uppercase. Okay. So to retrieve the first item, we again say dollar followed by square brackets. And within these brackets, we mention the index of the item, which is zero in this case. Okay. Now this would return as the first item from the array whose type is object. Okay. So with the help of dot notation, we can now easily retrieve the name property of first item in the array. Likewise, we can do the same for second and third item. Okay. All right. Let's see that practically. This is my array of person objects. Okay. As usual, we start with the root element dollar. Then we mention the square brackets. And if I have to fetch the name of the first item in this array, I am going to say zero. Okay. So you see, we have got now access to this object. Okay. Now this is an object and we know that with object, we can use both dot notation as well as bracket notation. But since there is, there are no special characters in the property names, we are good with dot notation. Okay. If I'm not watched my previous video, how to work with JSON dictionary, then please go and check that out. All right. So now, Let's check the case sensitivity part. So if I say name, okay, and I get the result, but if I make it lowercase, then there is no match. All right. And same is the case where if you write something which does not exist, a property which does not ex exist on an object, for example, test, okay, you get the same result. Okay. All right. Now, guys, this far we have worked with a single index. Now using union expression, we can select array elements with the specified indexes and that returns a list. The indexes should be separated by comma. So if we have to fetch the name property of first and second item, we say dollar square bracket. Then we mention the indexes of those items separated by comma like so zero comma one dot the property that we want to access. Okay. Because this particular expression will return us these two objects and both of these objects have the property name. So we say name. All right. Likewise, if I have to fetch the name property of first, third and fourth item from this particular JSON array, I can say 
dollar square bracket within that 0 comma 2 comma 3 dot name okay and it would work so let's see this practically now we start with as usual the root element which is represented by dollar this particular data set is an array so we again mention the square brackets and within that we mention the index number of the first item which is zero okay now we want to access the name of this one and this one all right so we say comma two comma three all right so we have access to these objects and then since these are the object we use dot notation and we mention name all right so we are able to fetch the name from this json array of object all right guys so guys we also have this slice expression which uses the following syntax so we have the opening and closing square brackets and within these brackets we can say the start index colon the end index colon the step okay now using the slice expression we can select array elements from start index and up to but not including end index and step is an integer value which determines the increment bet between each index for slicing and by default value of step is one okay so to fetch the name property of first two item in the json array our json path expression would be dollar okay to represent the root element then this being an array we say square brackets and we use the slice operator when we say okay the starting index is zero and the end index would be two remember this is exclusive which means that the output of this query would be these two objects only okay and then since these are the objects or the dictionary we can use the dot notation okay so we say dot and then we provide the name of the property like so okay now guys we have one more expression which would deliver us the same result being given by this expression okay so if you watch this closely we have omitted the start index so if start is omitted example in square bracket we write colon n okay so there is no start index all right now this selects the first n elements of the array okay and this also returns a list hence dollar colon two dot name also return us the same result being given by this okay likewise what we can do is we can omit the end index so if end is omitted it selects all the element from start until the end of the array so name property of all item could be found using dollar okay we provide only the start index then we say colon and we leave out the remaining two okay and then we say dot name this will give us all the names okay now we can also access the element from end of the array using negative indexing okay so this is positive indexing so it starts from zero and it goes down like this okay likewise if we start from the end we say minus one then we keep on decrementing it by one okay so in square bracket okay if we write minus n colon this selects the last n elements of the array and this also returns a list so name property of last item could be found using this particular expression okay likewise name property of last two items could be found using this particular syntax okay now the last example shows how to use the third parameter step so to find the id property of first and third item we have to increment the step from one to two okay so we say zero this is the starting index this is the ending index remember if we say three okay it would point to this but this is excluded isn't it so our output would be this okay but then we have provided the step so if we start from here it is going to skip this one and move on to this one directly okay so this way we'll find the id property of first and third items okay let's see that so again we start with dollar put in those square brackets 
provide the starting index and we provide the ending index okay so what do you see this is my index number two but this is exclusive and hence we have got this okay and then you say dot name and you get your result all right all right so our next example was to skip the starting index okay if i do so i still get the same result okay and if i say dot name all right i get my output okay then we have to omit the end index okay that's our third example so i say zero colon okay now this has returned me all the items okay in the list and then i say dot name okay all right now we have to use the negative index all right so how to find the last item so we just say minus one and you see the last item you want to retrieve the last two items you say minus two all right there you go and the last one is the step information okay so we say zero which is my starting index and then i say the third index which is this one okay so these three would be selected and i want to skip this all right so if i don't skip it uh, let me just get rid of this name for a minute so what do you see one two and three because by default the step value is one so if i change the step value to two so you see the object with id2 is gone and now it's very simple so you say dot name and you get the respective outcome so guys that's all from this video feel free to join me in the next one thanks for watching